<laughs> who doesn't like Scarface, you know? I saw that movie when I was uh, about uh, 15, 14, I think. <clears throat> My friend, uh, we, we had smoked some weed. <laughs> That's a good time to watch it. And um, man, I was, he's like, you, you ever seen Scarface? I said, no. He says, yo, you gotta watch this. I was like, okay. So we're watching it. Man, I was so into that. I like, I like wanting to be him. I wanted to go out in a, 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 a blaze of bullets at the end and I wanted to do all that, you see? But what really attracted me to him at that time was, uh, it's like a good bad guy, you see? Because that's real, that's human. This is, this is, everybody, no matter how bad they are, they have some good in them and vice versa. And uh, so that scene, that scene when he, he was ordered to blow up that car <clears throat> that that guy was driving, but he wouldn't do it because the kids, the kids and the, the wife uh, was in the car. So he basically sacrificed his life, his, you know, his own life by not carrying out the order from Salsa because he wanted him to blow up that car. Scarface is like, man, I'm not going to do that. Like, like, what do you think? I'm not going to cross that line. I'm not, I'm not an animal. Not totally. I, I think that's the scene that really just, you know, at that time, uh, just made me like really fall in love with that movie. And there's another scene too that was never shown in the movie. I was in Hollywood. I lived in Hollywood for a while as an actor. So I, I read the original script. There's a scene at the beginning when he's coming over from Cuba in the boat. There's a boat like full of a bunch of Cubans because they're trying to get to America to get away from uh, Castro. And uh, there's a drowning, there's, there was a retarded kid that fell off the boat. He was drowning in like the cube, like nobody tried to save him. They didn't know how to swim. So Scarface jumps in <laughs> and saves him, right? And puts him, puts him back on the boat. So then the retarded kid's trying to hug Scarface because he's grateful. And then he pushes him, pushes him down, you know? You see, good bad guy. Good that he saved him. <laughs> but he doesn't. He doesn't want the. <clears throat> he doesn't want him touching him. You know. So something was really attracted to that. Um, okay. So how do, how does this? I thought this was a funny title. It just came to me. You know. So you get get the energy, get the power, get the money, get the girl. You get the energy, obviously, by preserving your energy. That translates into power. But what kind of power? See, if you're preserving your energy. If Scarface was preserving his energy, he wouldn't have uh, lived that life. It, it's because that girl, Michelle Pfeiffer, got him all messed up. Because he was losing his energy. If he didn't, if he wasn't losing, this is, I've made a video about this. And I discovered this when I was like 22. And I remember I called my mentor at the time. I'm like, bro, I figured it out. Because I used to get attached to women pretty bad, you know. Because there was a deficit of female energy growing up from my mom. So then... You know, I just got too attached to <laughs> female energy. So when the relationship ended, I was I was super suffering, you know. Also, during sex, after sex, I was like, <sighs> messed up. I got all emotionally involved and everything. So then I called my mentor though, because I, 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 there was a girl that I liked and we were getting along, but we wouldn't have sex. And I, and then I would go home at night after seeing her and I would feel good, where usually I would be like thinking about her, obsessing about her. Oh no, what if she doesn't want to talk to me anymore? All that, all that chatter. I wasn't doing that though. Why? Because I didn't lose my energy. And then later we would have sex, but I still wouldn't lose my energy. And, and I didn't fall into that trap. And I called my mentor. I'm like, I figured out the secret, man. I said, uh, if I don't have sex with him, or at least if I don't ejaculate, I won't, I, I don't get all messed up over the girl anymore. He says, well, what's the point then of having sex? He wasn't on the level. He didn't know. You see, he didn't know. So that's the power. That's the power. That's, but that power, you, it can't be used to do stupid things like sell drugs and kill people, etc. Like you're, that power, spiritual power. It's also physical power, emotional power, mental power. But it's spiritual, spiritual power too. It it sets your mind straight. It purifies your mind and gives you the correct perception of things. Your spiritual perceptive powers wake up, and you start to do things 
it's coming from a, a, a more wise place. The universe is using you for the highest good now, as opposed to before when we don't have any, any true level of soundness of mind or spiritual power, our ego uses our lives and our strengths and power to do its bidding, which always turns out in the end, uh, it's not very satisfying. When people get hurt, including yourself, and then you lose your power. So, you get the energy from the semen retention, then you get true power, okay? I made the, I, I just told you the difference. I told you the real definition of the highest power. It's not even your power. You you get tapped, you're, you, you channel, you can say the universal power. It's not your own personal power that you're using. Since you're in alignment, the universe, it's like your actions are wind assisted. The universe is giving you the power to do these things. That's, that's, how, that's how you can, there's people, when they're aligned with this power, they can just keep going. They just keep, they can work, you know, all day and they're not tired they have more energy why because they're not wasting their own personal energy doing it I'll give an example when I was deep into plant medicine I did some Chinese retreats some years ago Chinese really liked it <laughs> there's a lot of Chinese people okay I think it's the largest population in the world and second is India <clears throat> they wanted to buy some medicine take it back with them I got excited because it was like, ooh, <laughs> the sky's the limit here. I could have been a millionaire if I continued with that, but I didn't. Here's why. We would like cut down forests <laughs> of San Pedro medicine, cactus. I had to hire a bunch of people to help me make it into medicine. And then, I don't know if I should be saying this, huh? So. At some point though, you ever seen that movie Blow with Johnny Depp? It's a good one. Remember that end where he's sitting at the table and he realizes his friends are cops and they're, he's getting ready to get busted and he's like, all right, let's do it. I had some kind of epiphany like that. I'm sitting at the, at the table, even though it's medicine, it's natural, it's not drugs, still it was wrong what I was doing. I didn't feel comfortable giving medicine to somebody who's going somewhere and, and, and I don't know the effect of the medicine. I already told you the story about the guy I did medicine with and he lost it for two weeks. I don't want that karma. I don't want that responsibility. So I, boom, something hit me. I was like, man, forget the money. All of a sudden, because that's, that's why I was doing it. I was, because I was excited at how much money I could make. And then something just, just that, dissolved I like lost all my energy this is the point to continue this work it was gone I was just like I was so tired literally <laughs> why because <clears throat> at that point I was using my own personal energy this wasn't a God assisted endeavor okay now opposite I make videos I answer people's questions I do consults this energy is wind assisted the universe, this is an example, I'm doing my dharma or my destiny. This is what I'm supposed to do because it flows naturally. I have no idea what I'm gonna say, but yet I end up saying something that's relative, that's important, and that's helpful, it seems, based on your comments and <clears throat> everything. That's an example. You gotta find, be willing to be guided by this, this inner power. Let it put you where you're supposed to be. Because if you do things based on your mind and your, you can say, um, egoic intentions, what you're supposed to do, that's usually associates if you should do something based on how much money you're gonna make, how popular you're gonna become, etc. We have to do that a little at first to taste it. I understand, I did it too. But I'm telling you what the end goal is, is to have this power, this true self power, true power, wake you up on a more spiritual level and you start to follow this inner guidance. You have to discern the difference between mind guidance and inner guidance. That gift will come. You keep preserving your semen and you live the rest of your life as clean as you can. This will come, okay? So you get the energy, then you get the real power, and then uh, what's the next one? Ah, the money. Okay, now here's the irony though. This is the irony. If you really have the energy and the power, all of a sudden, you may not care so much about the money and the girl. 
okay? This is the thing. You just may not. As long as you have enough money to, to get all the things that you want, which probably isn't going to be much because you've already found, you can say, the true, the highest gift because inside you're, you feel complete, you feel centered, you feel content. When you feel like that, see, when people feel like that, they don't have a lot of external desires. Why do people have so many desires? Because they don't feel good inside and their mind tells them that the way to feel good inside is you got to go get money or you got to get a good looking girl or you got to get this or you got to get that. This guy's like trying to listen. He's acting like he's doing something, but he wants to listen. Maybe he's hungry for knowledge. I don't know. We never know. See, we don't know how God's working this show out. See? Now the mind will judge and say, why, why, what, you know, what, what, what's up? Why is he eavesdropping on me? You know? But then something decides, says, wait a minute, this is divine. It's up to God. Who listens? Who doesn't want to listen? <clears throat> so when you're truly content, you're not, you may not be so interested in making a bunch of money anymore because it takes work. It takes energy to do that. And and you're like something inside like why am I going to spend energy like trying to make like I already have enough money what am I going to what difference does it make if there's a, a few more zeros added on my bank account like I don't even know what to do with the money I have now it, it, you, you might come into that realization or when it comes to women you may be you enjoy them always of course the energy but <clears throat> It may not be where you need to be in some exclusive contract. <clears throat> Sign here, I'm yours, you're mine. Let's live together forever. That, that, that desire may not be there. You may be enjoying your own space and energy so much, there's just no, there's no need. <clears throat> now, if the universe wants to put, if, if it's divine destiny that you get married and have that kind of relationship, so be it. You're open to that. You see, that's why... <clears throat> I don't want to paint the picture <clears throat> like somehow somebody that wants to have a girlfriend or married <clears throat> or children that somehow that's lower level <laughs> that's not what I'm saying on any level God put it in your heart what you're supposed to do if you're supposed to be <clears throat> in a relationship or get married or have kids or make a bunch of money that's already written in your destiny that's been downloaded that just needs you need to wake up to that but here's the thing, if, the, if that's your destiny, it's not coming from an egoic personal desire to get those things because it's gonna make you feel good. No, it's just the unfolding of your destiny. You don't take it personal. You don't think, oh, I got a million dollars, yeah, I'm somebody. No, you give the credit to the, to the highest. It's like, okay, God, you want me to have a million dollars, clearly, because it's effortless, I just fell into it. So that must mean there's a reason for that and you want to give, you, you're going to show me how to spend it. That's the thing. Your, don't let your mind tell you how to spend it. Let, let the power that gave you the money show you how to spend it. And the same, <clears throat> the same with the girl. If you, you, you'll just end up, you cannot not do your destiny anyway. So don't worry about it. You'll, you'll, you'll meet a girl or a woman. That's the thing. If, you're, if you really have true energy and true power, you're going to meet the right one. You're gonna meet. You're not gonna be, meet one that just wants to take from you. No, you 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 can smell that. You're like, you don't criticize them, but you just know you're not right for them. You're like, I, I'm not gonna be able to help you on that level. You meet one who's already self-contained and um, secure in herself. Why do you meet her? Because you're already self-contained and secure in yourself. So then you have two self-contained, secure people meeting and you're sharing with each other from a, a place of overflow. That's healthy. If that's your destiny, good, enjoy that. I would too, if that's my, who knows? I probably get another, I don't know, 20 years on the planet. If that wants to happen, I'm open. But I don't have any personal desire for it at any level. I'm not looking for it on any level. This is what I'm doing right now. What I'm doing right now, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> this is how God wants to use this <clears throat> this body uh, f to do this right now. So that's the point. You become open. You give your life back up to existence. It created you, so you say, okay, you know what? I think you know what you're doing. I'm going to let you also <clears throat> guide my life. Rumi, <clears throat> Rumi says, that, that who brought you here is taking care of you. 
that starts to, you embody that principle in a living, realized way. And if you're supposed to make a bunch of money, you'll make a bunch of money, but you don't care about it anymore. You're not, you've found your real self. But that's the best way, if you get the energy and the power, that's then that's the best way to get the girl in, in, in the money. Get the energy and the power, power first. Otherwise, uh, I don't think you're gonna enjoy the money or the girl. You probably get the wrong girl and you'll make money in the wrong way and you'll spend it in the wrong way. If ego is the one that did these things, it doesn't know how to take care of it. All right, I think I said everything. Um, yeah, so let me know. Let me know how you like that. How many of you guys seen Scarface? I think probably everybody on this channel. All right, have a good day.